Sandwich of Breeze here. And oh, Guapo. Learn a new beam. Ifla. <laughs> <laughs> Zorbate. Abadu. Oh. Finesh. Palorm. Wolfa. Orbitane. Peteru. Jaffa. Topa Mama. Lumbaclonkus Essenar. Shikrim Block. Ah, <laughs> Zimbabla. Levita Noonkin. Shaitan. Lachi. Sinfaher. Hi everybody and welcome back to the Not So Berry Challenge, Rose Generation. Um, so before I jump into this, I wanted to sort of talk a little bit about why I've been away for so long and um, why uploads may still be a little bit sporadic. Um, so um, this past month, my health got worse. I was officially diagnosed with diabetes and um, I it has been a lot to get my meds all situated um, and you know for all we know we, I still might need to get some new meds um this <laughs> yeah it's 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 a trip um but the other reason and the bigger reason honestly because I probably could have continued working through this um even if I was feeling like crap uh, myself but the bigger reason is um in the last month and a half or so um we noticed my kitty Rurik who is 10 years old and I've had him since he was about eight weeks um he was losing weight very rapidly and so we took him to the vet and we discovered that he had a large lump on his neck and at first we thought it was hyperthyroidism which is extremely common in in kitties of his age and male cats in particular um but and then you know we we got the cytology done on the lump and it was a cyst which was great because you know at least we could get it drained and then removed and it would be fine but beneath the cyst when they drained it was another very hard mass which we later figured out was most likely a salivary gland tumor, which is an extremely aggressive form of tumor that does unfortunately happen in older kitties, um, males in particular. Um, we wanted to get the surgery done while he was still doing okay. But he took a very rapid turn for the worst. He stopped eating and he got really weak. And unfortunately, on the 21st of August, we had to make the call to say goodbye to him. And I have been very devastated by this whole thing because um, <laughs> I can feel myself starting to cry um, because he was my first kitty it was actually like mine and not like a family cat and i raised him since he was a baby and he's been my emotional companion animal for that long so um i'm going to try to keep going with not so berry for the time being because i do want to continue and i want to get back to it um, I love this series. It brings me a lot of joy, and I'm very happy to continue with it. But um, I appreciate you guys being so understanding if I'm still a little sporadic because I am still grieving the loss of my of my baby. Um, there is his GoFundMe is still up. I haven't updated it yet, even though it's been almost two weeks since we said goodbye to Rue, because I just I'm not ready. And 
um yeah but if you do want to continue to donate to that we do have a care credit that does have to be paid off um for his his vet bills so um that will go towards his uh his paying off his vet bills um but if not your support and your friendship and stuff is more than enough and i appreciate it um anyway let's get back to this so i don't start crying <laughs> um so we're gonna be here with flannery and now you kind of have an idea from that intro that christopher is basically a normal politician <laughs> basically a corrupt politician he is planning on using our girl Flannery and Christopher are here at the library to sort of talk, you know, talk about the campaign. And he's doing his thing of being a mean butt. He's self-absorbed. That's pretty normal. So it seems that she is actually like, if we look, she's super attracted to him. So, you know. She's holding back because, you know, he's, he's her boss, but I mean, you have the option for a smooth apology, but you don't need to use it. I don't think you should use it, actually. Anyway, let's see, political career. Gonna... She's hot-headed, so of course. So they share a similar political leaning, which is good because they're going for the same thing. And he just, of course, is continuing to just be mean. Try to be nice to him. Why don't you flatter him? Gas him up a bit. I mean, use your charisma to to the biggest extent. Compliments. Heartfelt compliment. Hey. They actually have a really good relationship, you know, despite him being mean. He's just really mean. I think he thinks that by bringing her down a little bit, he kind of proves his superiority in this whole thing. Discuss logic puzzles, like maybe strategize. She adores him. So I think I'm gonna take control of him. And oh, could you? Uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna let that happen because arguing about politics is what politicians do. And I think, um, he's gonna try and take some initiative here. And we can have them go on a get-to-know-you date. Okay, it looks like, uh, she has accepted. Let's do a get-to-know-you date. And we're not gonna have a third wheel, it's fine. Romantic, friendly... Mm, let's do drink some food. And let's see here. While we're still in Willow Creek, we could very well... Let's just go to the bar. It's next door. We're gonna have them sit together here. Oh, actually, hold on. Now let's have them sit together here. Flannery is enjoying the date and would like to spend more time together. Perhaps you would like to extend the date to last longer. Already? Share interests. Uh, eat something, drink something. That would be great if, you know, someone were here. 
guess we can discuss logic puzzles. Oh, hey, discuss your fears of death. He might laugh at you, but... Aw, oh, for once he's actually being nice. And I'm gonna have him initiate the flirting because I think he wants this more than she does. And that'll give her the idea that maybe it's okay. It's like, are you flirting with me? Uh, after being swept off her feet by Christopher's flirty advances, Flannery feels like the birds are singing a bit sweeter and the sun is shining a bit brighter. How romantic. Would you say that Flannery likes flirtation? Yes. She absolutely does like flirtation. That's what this entire... They've already got, um... See, he's manipulative. He's going to go the underhanded route about most anything. Okay, so at this point, okay, we got we got another one. Let's go get let's go order some food, get them fish and chips, and order drink. Order drinks for the date group. Now we can get it. I think one of the ways that he's gonna be um settle is he's going to well he's also going to impress her we can do a lot of cocolata but i think one of the ways that he is going to be a little subtle about what he's after i think the strawberry wine is probably the next best one of course we're aware of how not subtle he is being. Oh, that was a single thing. Okay, well that's fine. Only one of them needs to eat it. Are you able to toast? I think she's a little confused because, you know, isn't this isn't this not okay, you know, for a boss, an underling? And he's putting the charm on as much as he can. Flannery, I think, is not used to others putting the flirt on. Like, how do you think this is going? Flannery is sort of falling for Christopher and wants to ask him if he would like a relationship. Do you want this to happen? Okay, she's initiating. Sure, let's do this. And there they go. Like, okay, well, if you're okay with this, then yeah, sure, I'll be... I'll date you. I think she's still a little afraid to take things too quickly, so... Well, this is going a lot better than we thought it would. Okay, so now the date is a gold date, and I think um, it's getting kind of late. She still wants to... She still wants to go visit her, her parents, so I think we're going to end the date. Okay. And there's three dates. And this is also the seventh romantic partner. She's like, okay, um, it was nice to see you. I'm going to go visit my parents while I'm here, and then I will catch up with you later. Thanks for a nice date. 
So she's going to go and visit her parents and her brother who are right here. She hasn't seen her brother since Thanksgiving. She hasn't seen any of her, well, no, she's seen her parents since Thanksgiving because they come over like all the time, but. <laughs> Russell's here like, heck yeah, it's my sister. Knock on the door. Give your mom a kiss. Like, I'm sorry, I'm really flirty because, like, I'm really flirty because I just came back from a date. Oh, how did it go? Um, it went well. It was a little awkward at first when you asked me, but, well, why is that? Well, he's kind of my boss. Oh, honey. That's some dangerous territory there. I know. But he seems, you know, like he really wants to try something. He wants to try something, all right. I just don't know if it's actually a relationship with you. Just be careful, sweetie. He goes, I know. I'm smart. You know that. Even the smartest young women can be manipulated by a really good manipulator. So be really careful, sweetheart. And rem remember, you've got us if you need anything. Oh, thanks, Mom. I love you. Go give a hug to your brother. Russell's here. Go do a smooth apology and maybe discuss your fears of death with him. Hey, bro. Where's the other bro? No. That is one thing you cannot change. Let's see. Is Rory here? Where is dad? Where did dad go? Is dad at work? Oh, dad is in the, sh in the bath. Rory moved back in with the parents um, when he graduated, but he might be at work right now, actually, so... Okay, well, she's been able to see most of her family, so we're going to go back home. Itty bitty, itty bitty steps, itty bitty steps, itty bitty steps in the blizzard. Running in the snow, running in the snow, running in the snow. Home sweet home. Okay, she didn't actually eat while she was there. He was, he only got food for himself, so let's just have her eat. She's feeling pretty good, though. Oh, damn, Blue. Moving on. Honestly, she... isn't going to just... stop him from doing that, because... <laughs> you know, she did break up with him. She might be a little jealous, but... hey, if he's moving on, that's what he's doing. Let's see. She needs some fun. Just looking at these cute little pictures of her and Felix. She kind of misses him. She definitely misses him. Absolutely misses him. Let me play. Try entering an office tournament. See if you can win something from that. Let's see if she gets, uh, anything from this and then she can go to bed looks like uh yeah he's done hey she got third place that's awesome all right go potty and then go sleep so it is now the morning and christopher has given her a call inviting her over to his place so she's going to get ready get a shower, and get ready to go to his place. Oh, you're looking so cute today. You decided to dress up for the new boo? 
Okay, she feels a little better after eating and showering, so we're gonna go ahead and have her go to Christopher's apartment. No, you can't. Why do you keep wanting to swap personality traits that you're not allowed to change? Oh, he's excited. Why are you so excited? Try, try as you might to take things slow. Sims sometimes just know what they want. Now we can go into his big ol' penthouse place. Look at this. This is a lot. Yeah, a lot. But you know, when he's as high up in his career as he is, he can afford this place. So give him a hug. Like, so why did you want me to come over here? I just wanted to spend more time with you while you had some days off. Oh, that's cute. I didn't realize you liked me this much. Honestly, isn't this a little inappropriate? Because nobody has to know. We can keep it our little secret. Proposed crazy scheme? Like, hi, I have this idea for the political campaign. It's a little crazy, but I think it might work. And then he just goes over here to do what? Oh, get a quick meal. Uh, once again, you're not even going to try to get it, give anything to your girlfriend, okay? We'll come sit here. What do you want to do? You want to become flirty? You want to play thumbs up? We don't have those, but those games, but I'm sure. She wants to become flirty, so I'm going to try to make that happen for her. Says, well, if you want to make a drink, you're free to do that. Let's see, we have a bar here, right? She's going to go make herself a drink. Might make one for him, too. Like, can you make me one, too? And she's like, yeah, of course. Anything you want. You gonna make him a drink? Just, no. I'm taking care of me first. You know, as you should, but... And she's just kind of noticing, you know, despite... Asking her over here, they're not really doing much. She's going to go to the bathroom because she really needs to pee. And then maybe bring that up with him? Discuss dance techniques with him. Maybe that'll put some ideas into his head. How did you know about this? This is supposed to be on the down low. Did someone say something? Was it to you? Why don't you discuss your interest in dancing? Some ideas in his head, be like, hey, so I'm here, but what are we doing? And maybe she'll suggest that they relax in the sauna. She noticed he has a sauna. I'm sure we can, you know, use a little bit of relaxation. So now they're relaxing in the sauna. And she's gonna try and spice it up a little bit since, you know, they're together. And this is a good place to do things. And she's just like, you know, there are things we can do together in the sauna. Why are you fully dressed in the sauna, sir? Okay, he's not interested in the sauna, woohoo. You know, that is your mistake, sir. She was about to get you laid and you were just not into it. But, you know, me as an asexual, I know sex isn't everything, so. Let's see. And she's just like, well, fine. 
If you're not taking initiative like you were the other day, I will take it. And you know what I'm going to take the initiative with? Let's see how romantically compatible we are. Oh, you didn't take that well. Let's try this again. I mean, it is not my intention for her to pressure him into anything. Okay, that's not working. Cool. Well, she's just like, well, I'm not going to push you in any, into anything, but I do have needs. And if you want this to keep up, we're going to have to find some way to fulfill those needs. So this is kind of like her first hint that things are not really going as well as she wants them to. But she's willing to keep trying because, you know, she's afraid that if she breaks up with him, you know, what's that going to do for her career? And she's realizing now, this might have been a mistake, hooking up with her boss. But she's going to need to keep it going, at least for now, because this campaign is kind of important. So this is where we're going to end things for now, and I will see you all in the next one. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be recording again. I'm excited to be back and recording again. I, I know I probably don't sound like it, but yeah, um, I really am. I'm just, you know. It's been, it's been a lot this la these last couple months or so, and yeah, um, anyway, um, I'll try to get the next episode up as soon as I can, but in the meantime, enjoy Flannery. Thank you so much for your time and your viewership and be, you know, just being awesome and being patient with me while I go through a lot of really hard things. And um, I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.